The United States is a nation of consumers. Consumers of energy, electricity, gasoline, fuel oil, natural gas. Consumers of retail products, groceries, convenience foods, and so much more. And despite recycling efforts, a majority of the waste generated from our retail purchases ends up here, in landfills, doing nothing, forever. And despite conservation efforts, we still don't utilize the full potential of our energy resources. Citrus Heights, California was offered an opportunity to participate in a pilot program to determine if an alternative was possible. To see if a community like Citrus Heights could demonstrate the ability to take recycling to a new level. Citrus Heights is very, very active and we were selected as the pilot program for the, for the Purple Energy Bag, which we are really excited about. It made sense. It's something that Citrus Heights gets involved in, in terms of recycling. And to me, it's a, it's a great community involved effort on our parts. And of course, working with them, it made it easier. How exciting is that Citrus Heights is the first community in the entire nation to embrace this kind of pilot. Co-sponsored by the Dow Chemical Company, the Flexible Packaging Association, and Republic Services, along with Citrus Heights, this first of its kind pilot asked some 27,000 customers to amend their typical bi-weekly recycling for a period of three months to collect previously non-recycled items in special purple bags so the items could be converted into energy. The Energy Bag Pilot Program is designed to allow consumers to recycle their non-recycled plastic packaging and other plastic items. I think what you're doing by separating these things out and returning them to energy is just a wonderful idea. We're separating materials into their various components and sending them out to the market where they can be reused and reprocessed. Because they have a very high embedded energy content. And most of the energy value used to make the plastics is still trapped inside the plastics after they've been used. Here at Agilex, we've developed a technology that transforms waste plastic into crude oil. I really see it as our responsibility to help sort out and figure out ways to recover the embedded energy that we've put into these materials. It's extremely exciting to have organizations working together to find solutions for today's challenges. Collaboration is key to building a sustainable future, and that's exactly what's happened here. Having all the partners work together and being this being something that everyone wanted to see transpire set forth a great project that we think turned out really good for the city of Citrus Heights. If as citizens we can just change our habits just a little to, to help promote something that's going to make our world better, how great is that? This story is really about the power of collaboration, how companies working together can make the change that the world wants to see. So has Citrus Heights California shown the way to a cleaner, smarter, more energy self-sufficient concept for waste and recycle streams? Yes. We're very satisfied with the results overall. We set out to learn a lot of different things with the project and we were able to learn most of the important things that we needed to know, like could we pick up non-recycled plastic packaging from people's households, could we send it to a MRF, could we separate it, and could we send it to a pyrolysis facility to be made into oil. We learned all of those things. There are still more to learn, of course, uh, but we're very happy with the results and we think we've learned a lot. Indeed. The numbers were very encouraging. Nearly 8,000 energy bags were collected in just six recycle pickups during the pilot. More than 6,000 pounds, over three tons, of plastics were collected and diverted from going to a landfill during the pilot. The energy bag pilot netted about 512 gallons of synthetic crude oil, or nearly 12 barrels where none existed before, proving that a program like the energy bag can work. More proof of the long-term viability is seen in post-pilot surveys, which showed that upwards of 30% of the homeowners eligible for the energy bag pilot did participate at some point during the three months. And 78% of those surveyed, when given additional information about the program, said they would be likely to participate if the program were repeated. I would definitely say that I'm, I'm optimistic about it. Um, certainly when the program came out, I'm thinking, you know, this is new for us and this is asking people to sort one more, one more step. 
it's just a matter of training the general public to do that. Probably the end result I'd, I'd love to see at the end, what did we gain out of this? And if, you know, if this goes widespread and you have the opportunity to move the final processing location closer or you have the ability to ship more at a time and sort of doing things in bulk rather than just for this one particular city. How much would, would that help us and how much more would we gain from that? I like plastics to energy. I think the idea is energy. We need to generate a lot of energy and I think this is a perfect way to do it. I'm sure there's a, a myriad of benefits that this program is going to deliver. It really doesn't create a lot of extra work, if any. This is the first time anybody has done this. And we continue to learn even as the pilot ended. And that's exactly why we're here, because learning is the natural result of a pilot. And this is just the beginning. We are learning valuable lessons with our partners that we will be able to share with industry stakeholders and other communities to help us change the way we think about waste and impact the communities that we live in. Taking the, the vice mayor hat off and just speaking um, from the standpoint of being a citizen, the energy bag program was a huge success. I hope it will come back and be a permanent program in our cities so that, so that all of us can engage and be a part of something really good. The Citrus Heights Energy Bag Pilot has proven to be an exciting, positive indicator pointing toward a new direction for municipal solid waste management. But it is just the beginning of a journey that will require people working together for a better tomorrow.